what is rt and what is virtual function bus let's try to understand these topics in our today's video hello everyone welcome to link frequency and i'm ashwarya pattab this video is part of our course that is introduction to otisa so without any further delay let's get started The RTE layer that is the runtime environment is the middle layer in between the application layer and the basic software layer. The RTE is a software component in the Autosa architecture that provides an abstraction layer between the application layer and the basic software layer. The RTE layer manages the communication between software components and ensures that the timing requirements of the system are met. We can say that RTE is a connecting element or acts like a bridge in the Autosa architecture. The RT is used to manage the inter and intra ECU communication between the application layer and the basic software layer. Now you might wonder what exactly is inter and intra ECU communication. Well, the communication between the software components of same ECU is called as intra ECU communication, whereas the communication between the software components of different ECUs is called as inter ECU communication. Let's understand this with the help of an example. On the screen, you can see there are two issues, namely the issue 1 and the issue 2. The communication or interaction between issue 1 and issue 2 is known as inter-issue communication. Whereas on the other hand, the communication within the issue that is between the software component B and the software component C is known as intra-issue communication. Well, moving on further with RTE. RTE is responsible to estimate the exact time required to complete a particular task. It ensures that the data is received in the right and correct sequence, hence maintaining the reliability of the data. RT implement communication paths using ports and interfaces which are used to connect between software components and BSW modules of lower layers as per the configurations. Moving on to our next topic that is virtual functional bus. The virtual functional bus is the abstraction of Autosar software components interconnections of entire vehicle. It's called virtual because there is no physical connection between the software components. Instead, the software components of a ECU communicate with the software components of other ECUs in a system or vehicle using low-level communication bus like CAN or FlexRay. Because of this, software component is independent of the actual underlying hardware. The virtual functional bus module component communicate with each other through ports. There are two types of ports, namely the provider port and the receiver port. Now you might think what exactly are these ports? Well, the provider port are used by a software component to provide data or services to other software components. Provided port implement senders and servers. On the other hand, receiver port are used by the software component to require data or services from other software components. Required port implement receivers and clients. Now it's time to look into the differences between runtime environment and virtual functional bus. The first difference is based on function and purpose. The RTE manages the runtime behavior of the software component within the Autosa architecture. It provides an execution environment, schedules tasks, handles intercomponent communication, and also manages memory and error handling. On the other hand, we can see virtual functional bus acts as a virtual communication bus that facilitates the exchange of data and actions between software components, particularly in the distributed automotive systems. It abstracts the physical communication network and provides standardized communication infrastructure. Moving on to our second difference, which is based on scope. The RTE operates within a single ECU and manages the behavior and interactions of software components within that specific ECU. Whereas on the other hand, virtual functional bus operates across multiple ECUs and enables communication between software components located on different ECUs. It provides a virtualized communication bus that abstracts the underlying physical network and allows components to interact across ECU boundaries. Moving on to our third difference that is based on responsibilities. The RT is responsible for managing the execution environment including scheduling tasks, managing intercomponent communication, memory allocation and error handling within a single ECU. Whereas on the other hand, Virtual Functional Bus is responsible for providing a standardized communication infrastructure that enables communication between the software components across different ECUs. It handles message routing, transformation, scheduling, and error handling in a distributed system. Last but not the least, the last difference is based on level of abstraction. 
The RTE focuses on managing the runtime behavior of software component within an ECU, providing an execution environment and handling intra-ECU communication. Whereas on the other hand, virtual functional bus abstracts the physical communication network and protocols, providing a virtualized communication bus that enables inter-ECU communication and coordination. So in this video, we could learn about runtime environment and virtual functional bus along with few of the differences between them. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.